the idle control, but it's still pretty decently dialed in. So this timing advance right now is going to correspond to our idle control timing. So if we jump in to our spark section here into advance, we're going to be using these idle spark advance tables exclusively. And we see that we're in park right now, and that's why we're using this park table. And we can see we're in this range right now of idling, and that's why we're seeing that 20 degrees report it back. And then we see that idle advance is moving around a little bit. It's adding and subtracting some timing as we watch it right here. We can see it's fluctuating a little bit, and that's because our, our target idle here is 600, and then our actual idle speed is uh, moving a little bit, which is going to be normal, plus or minus maybe 20 RPM. But it's moving the ignition timing in response to, jumping in here, the overspeed and underspeed tables. Remember that these tables were add or subtract ignition timing based on the difference of our idle speed, of where we want to be at. So either under, under speed, it's going to add a little timing here for the underspeed table. With overspeed, it's going to be adding some ignition time or taking away if we go higher than the value. So it's going to be the function of these tables, and it's going to be reported here in our idle advance. So it's going to be able to tell how those tables are interacting. So what we're going to see here is that the timing advance in park neutral, again, is reporting 20. If we see that we have our idle in drive, table here. This is going to be based if we're on gear position. We can see that the values here are roughly 30 degrees. So right now I'm in park neutral. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my vehicle into gear and we're going to see that as soon as I put it into gear, it jumps up in spark timing to that reported value here. And then it's trying to make further adjustments to keep our idle speed right where we want here at 600. So we can see that that's the effect of those both of those tables. So I'm going to put my vehicle back into park now. And it's going to go back to that 20 degree value because it knows whether it's in gear or in park. And we can see once we've done that, it's now returned back to approximately 20 degrees and uh, going through the normal idle control routine here. So 